Welcome everybody to the second episode of Stiga NHL Hockey World with Chris and Luke. I'm Chris, and this is my son Luke. Hello. And first episode, you might remember we spoke about the game and what we've done to it to make it a little bit more realistic. This week, what we're going to do is talk about our collection of teams. And I think we spoke a little bit about our, our objective, which was to get every single team in the NHL, both home and away, or alternate uh, uniforms. So we've, we've got every team in the NHL so far, and we've got quite a few of them with either an alternate or an away and home uh, uniform. So the first couple of teams that we're going to talk about today, uh, Toronto for me. And, and Vancouver Canucks for me. Okay, well let's do Toronto first. And obviously this Toronto team is the home team. It's the standard stock version. What we've done, and for all the goalies, the goaltenders, and I'll just show you here, this is to represent uh, Jonathan Bernier from the Toronto Maple Leafs, who's the current goalie, 2014 version. All the, all the goaltenders that come in the standard stock have black pads, and for anyone who knows their hockey, I'll just turn him around so you can see some of the detail on the back of his glove, that not many of the goaltenders in, in truth do have black pads. So what we decided to do was to make them a little bit more realistic. So the majority of the pads are white and usually end up with a little bit of the team colours trim on it. So that's Jonathan Bernier. So he looks pretty cool. And I'll just put him down. And we have the away version. That's right. We've got the away version of Toronto. Now, I got this pack. These were an original pack from 2002, so they needed a little bit more work done to them. I'll just show you. This is James Reimer's uh, goal pads from 2014. If you can focus in on there, and I'll just turn him around. And a bit of detail on his glove there as well. So this is the 2014 version of James Reimer. Now, the 2002 pack, they... I'll just put him down. They come and they're very basic. They don't have black gloves. The white and the blue stripes uh, were faded. So we had to do a little bit of repainting. And while we did that, if you can focus in on who we have here is Phil Kessel because we've added a beard, which is a little bit of an extra um, piece of painting that we did to make him a little bit more realistic. So yeah, we, the older the versions, they don't come with faces either, so we've had to paint the faces on, and these helmets are actually blue. So we've just made it a little bit more realistic, more realistic so that it takes on um, more fun when you're playing. So that's Phil Kessel, and that's part of the 2002 pack that we've updated. All right, Lukey, who's the next team we're going to do over there? Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver Canucks. Okay, so we have two versions of these, the only two versions that have come out so far. Pretty sure this version, which is the 2014 14. version, yep, has been updated since the new um, the new moulds of the players that are just coming out now. But to represent Roberto Luongo, who had been the Canucks goaltender for the last seven or eight years, we've dedicated the goal pads to what he wore in 2014, 2013, the year before, as well. And there wasn't much to it, just a little bit of green trim on the side for Roberto. And there was no detail on his glove. Just that little bit on the blocker and the pads with the green stripe. And I'll just put him down. And the other version we have, which is the older version. Luke, what year is this one? The, that is the 2006, I believe. Yeah, 2006, I think it is. And these pads, also Roberto Lomonga's pads that he wore back then. So we've got the... Um, a little bit more detail there, trickier to do when you're painting, and I'll explain a little bit about how we do paint them once you've had a look. But it's pretty cool, and I'll just turn him around, you can see some detail on the back of his glove. Um, if you are planning on painting some, some of your players or your goaltenders, you've got to be patient. It does take a bit of time. Okay. But you can see, it's well worth it. It is so worth it. Isn't it? Yeah, it's worth it. Luke and I both agree that it just makes the games... It does, it makes it more realistic, because it looks exactly how our players look. Now, Lukey, the next team we're going to have a look at? Uh, Boston. Okay, we'll go for Boston. Alright, so now we're just going to go through the teams in the NHL, that we, uh, the rest of them that we have. We're just going to do five at a time. In alphabetical so order. Well, alphabetical order? Oh, okay. Right, well, okay. then let's, uh, let's put Boston Anaheim. back then. Let's go Anaheim. Good idea, alphabetical order, we'll keep it that way. So, the away version of the Anaheim Ducks... And it's standard stock for players from 
um, last year, uh, stock. And we've got Jonas Hiller, who we know has moved on to a different team. I think it's Cal Calgary. I maybe could be wrong. No. But he's moved on, and here, but here are his pads from last year. Now these have been kept originally black from what they came in stock, but we've just added the trim to it with a bit of white and gold. And I think the extra detail makes it look pretty cool. There's no, the only trim on his glove is on the front and there's nothing so much on the back. Okay. Now, the other version of the, the, Anaheim, ducks of Anaheim. the Anaheim Ducks are the who, Lukey? The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. And the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. And these were another 2002 version of um, one of the teams which did, came without faces and also some of the, the painting was a little bit faded. It's been a little bit harder to get the exact colours for this for this team, but what we did we with the pads, paints, I believe. yeah, we mixed them up a little bit and we got up as close as we could, and we have depicted the goal pads here of J.S. Jagir, who was the goaltender back when he was playing with the Anaheim, uh, with the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, and you can see that the detail there is quite intricate, both on his pads and his blocker and glove, and I'll just turn him around. But you can see that having that extra detail on there definitely makes it more realistic. Okay, Lukey, next alphabetical order. Boston. Boston. All right, let's put these guys over here. Boston Bruins. Now we have, uh, I believe that there's a new version of the Boston Bruins home home uniform, which is uh, doesn't have as much yellow. It's got more of the current uniform, which has the yellow at the top on the shoulder, and then it turns into black down the sleeve. So but we've still got the one from a couple of years ago, but what we've done here is we've painted the gold pads of Tuka Rask from the 2014 season. And I think we agree that the white, the full white pad and glove and with blocker the stripes. with the yellow and black trim makes it look even cooler than what it would if it was just left as normal. So that is Tuka Rask from the 2014 season. There's no detail on the back of that of him, so I'll just put him back into his position. So next okay. are the and Buffalo Sabres. And the Buffalo Sabres, next in line, and last for tonight's um, team that we're going to go through. And the Buffalo Sabres, these the original team of Buffalo that was uh, available were the black, um, red and silver, white uh, home uniform that they had originally put out. Uh, that has since changed. This, I think, was changed in, back in 2010. And they did actually originally come with blue helmet, which we've painted white to make it more like the real thing. Um, and our goaltender that we've put here, and the detail we've put on, is Ryan Miller from back in that 2010 season. And you can see that the detail on that, the blue-yellow, really stands out off the white plaid pads and glove. So and I'll just turn him around. He does have a little bit of blue detail on the back of his glove, but essentially most of it's on the front. So that's Ryan Miller from the, the Buffalo, Buffalo Sabres, Sabres when he was with the Buffalo Sabres. I believe... Who did he move on to? He went on to St. Louis, and I believe he's just signed with the Vancouver Canucks. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They're cool. Yeah. So that is the Buffalo Sabres. So there are our first five teams that we've done as part of our collection goes. I hope you've enjoyed checking out what we've done with the goalies pads and just to add a little bit more realism to the game by, by painting those pads. And we will just show you what we used to paint. So. Yeah, so yeah. here are some of the paints that we did use, just if you were interested in doing it some of yourself. There are different yeah. brands and it doesn't some. necessarily matter what brand you choose so long as it's an enamel paint. and. This one is a Tamiya brand, a Revel, and I think there's a different, another one there, which is Humbrol. So they're the three different enamel paints that we've used, and I've only got three different um, versions there because that was what was in stock in the colours that we needed. Now, another good, uh, something else that you will need that's going to help you with your uh, enamel paints thinners. is your paint thinner, because these paints over time when you do use them they do thicken 
and they do require to be thinned out a little bit. So that is something that you will need to put a little bit of thinner in just to thin them out because there's nothing worse than trying to paint small objects with thick, bluggy paint. So very important. And what do we use? Skewers and toothpicks. All right. So the skewers you can use for bigger areas. So say, for example, I was painting Tukarask. I would have used the big skewer with the white paint and gone all over it with the white with a bigger skewer because it doesn't need to be as intricate. And then once that's dried, you come in with a looky. A uh, toothpick. With a little toothpick which has a finer nib at the end of it. And you can be a lot more intricate with your movement. Obviously you need a steady hand and patience. And what you'll find is that once you, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And good lighting is also a key. So if you have a lamp, you can work under a lamp and that helps as well. So there's the tools that we use to, to make those goal pads uh, more realistic and also if we need to paint some of the older style terms to update them. So the paints, enamel paints, our thinner, our skewer and our, um, uh, what do you call this again? Um, toothpicks. Toothpicks. Alright, so stay tuned for our next episode where we're going to go through the next five teams in alphabetical order. If yours is coming up, you're going to be interested in seeing what we've done with the goal pads. But for now, we're looking forward to seeing any ideas that you guys have still. We're waiting to see some more. And we want to get some more information too for our collection. So anything that you can do or put up, we'd love to see it. So leave some comments or videos for us. That'd please. be great. Any comments would be much appreciated. So until next time, episode three. Oh yeah, and please subscribe. Subscribe to what? Enjoy your hockey and we'll see you next week. Bye.